decision to issue an arrest warrant against me, the democratically elected Prime Minister of the State of Israel, and our former Defense Minister, was made by a rogue prosecutor who's trying to extricate himself from sexual harassment charges and by biased judges who are motivated by anti-Semitic sentiments against the one and only Jewish state. Israel does not, Israel will not, recognize the validity of this decision. We will continue to do everything we must do to defend our citizens and defend our state against Iran's axis of terror, Iran and its terrorist proxies, which include Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and others. Our enemies are your enemies, and our victory will be your victory, the victory of civilization over barbarism and tyranny. The International Criminal Court issued arrest warrants on Tuesday for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, his former defense chief, and a Hamas leader. The warrants are for alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity in the Gaza conflict. The move was met with outrage in Israel, while Hamas welcomed the warrants against the Israelis. In their decision, the ICC judges said there were reasonable grounds to believe Netanyahu and Yoav Gallant were criminally responsible for acts including murder, persecution, and starvation as a weapon of war, and said it was part of a, quote, widespread and systemic attack against the civilian population of Gaza. The warrants for Hamas leader Ibrahim al-Masri lists charges of mass killings during the October 7, 2023 attacks on Israel. It also includes charges of rape and the taking of hostages. Israel said it killed Masri in an airstrike in July, but Hamas has neither confirmed nor denied it. The prosecution indicated it would continue to investigate his reported death. Netanyahu's office called the ICC decision anti-Semitic and said he would not yield until Israel's war objectives are met. Why uh, an arrest warrant against our prime minister? In Tel Aviv, his supporters voiced disapproval. You don't see the all anti-Semitism that's been going on and the only state that's fighting it, that's fighting Hamas. We still have 101 hostages in captivity by Hamas. A senior Hamas official told Reuters the warrants were a first step towards justice. But in Khan Yunus, displaced Palestinians said the decision to charge Netanyahu came too late. He used October 7th as an excuse to commit crimes in the Gaza Strip. The Gaza Strip is not terrorists. It is children, elderly people, women. Israel has rejected the jurisdiction of the Hague-based court and denies war crimes in Gaza. The United States, Israel's main diplomatic supporter, is also not a member of the ICC and rejected the decision on Thursday, said a White House National Security Council spokesperson. But others, like the EU's foreign policy chief, said the court's decision should be respected and implemented. It's a decision of a court, of a court of justice, of an international court of justice. The court does not have its own police force to carry out arrests and instead relies on its 124 member states. Israel's 13-month campaign has killed about 44,000 Palestinians and displaced nearly all the enclave's population, Gaza officials say. It launched the campaign in response to the October 7th attack, which killed 1,200 people and saw more than 250 hostages taken, Israel has said. I care it's uh, to bring them back so if this decision will make it uh, this, the, um, the hostage to be to become to because uh, now we don't have anything I know that the Hamas wants to have a hostage deal and here and uh, Benjamin Netanyahu he just um, uh, it seems like he forgotten from here from the hostages. It seems like he he 
really doesn't want to bring them. He, he, he doesn't want to bring them back, and um, that's why I'm here. <laughs> There is the problem that with, with all my uh, criticism on this very fundamentalistic, uh, extreme dictatorship government, uh, once other countries are involved from outside, I have the problem of joining uh, words and sentences that are against my country. So it's much more complicated, especially as I don't believe that it'll make any change. Because I realize as a historian um, that the government will do anything to stay in power.